Hello internet friends. Um, I have been watching a lot of makeup decluttering videos and getting inspired and I thought I would film my process uh, because I need to be held accountable. So I have a lot of makeup. Disclaimer, I am also a makeup artist um, part time just as a as a hobby. Um, but I do have makeup for that as well. And we'll go through that separately. Um, but I am a makeup lover full time. Okay. Okay. So first category, I figured we would just go by the order in which I would put on makeup, right? So first would be primer and setting sprays because they, they sit together. Um, this hard candy hydrating primer mist, uh, I am not really a huge fan of. I don't really think it does anything. So I'm going to let go of that. Uh, Urban Decay All Nighter is always staying. On the other hand, this one, the long wear one from um, Hard Candy, this one is actually good. Over here, I already took out my uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. There's some trash and some change in here, along with the hand of a uh, little trinket statue because I had nowhere else to put it. It's fine. Things end up in here. This is a sample of the Perlice, Pure Lease uh, Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. I'm going to keep that. <sighs> the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I feel like I have not given this one a fair shot, so I'm going to keep it for a little while longer and just make an effort to use it. Um, these little samples have been in here for a while. The Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass and the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Both of these I'm going to let go because they're old. All right, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer Sunscreen. Ooh, I might actually have just moved this to my bathroom. Um, no, I won't. It expired in December of 22. That's going in the garbage. And then this is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm so mad that they got rid of this line. I haven't really used it much, so I don't think it's bad. Like, gone bad. Still smells fine. Still looks fine. And it's still giving me that cooling effect. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, great. One category down. Good job, me. All right, we're gonna move on to foundations now. I have a little bit of a problem. It's okay, it's fine. Um, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, first off, this Hourglass Vanish Stick. I got this when it first came out. It's got stuff all over it, apparently. Um, this is old. I have quite a bit left unfortunately, but this is just, I think this is almost five years old at this point. I really need to get rid of it. So let's see how much I used up. Okay. See, that doesn't, that doesn't make me feel as bad. Um, this was in the shade Blanc. Can you see that? I'm sorry. The lighting is crappy. I am, uh, filming this at night. All right, Rimmel Lasting Finish, 25 hour breathable. I don't find that it lasts that long. Um, this is in the shade 001. You will find I am the lightest shade in pretty much everything. Uh, and sometimes that is too dark for me. So I'm gonna let go of this one because I never wear it. It is a nice texture on the skin. It looks nice, but it's like a lighter medium coverage. Like it's a medium on the light side. Um, and it just, it doesn't last like it says it does on me. This one, however, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This one's nice. And I am in the shade, once again, lightest one, probably. Uh, Rose Pearl. And this one has an expiration date on it, so we'll go by that. Um, this Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage. I have not really given a fair shot. I think I've only worn it once. So I'm going to try that again. Ugh, my love, my life. Okay. 
This is my favorite foundation, the Peach Perfect um, Comfort Matte Foundation. Um, I have it in cloud and in snow. And I really want to keep these for one more summer. That's snow. And then that's cloud. I feel like actually maybe I could mix them and make a really good shade. Okay, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Um, I am going to hold on to these just for one more summer. Just one more. And then I'll get rid of them. I'm not doing great here. <laughs> um, okay. The... Cover FX Power Play Foundation. Um, this is in N10. I am going to keep this one as well, just for one more summer, see if I use it. These are samples that I got from Shein of their um, like cream foundation. I have not yet been able to give these a try except for swatching. Um, they all swatch pretty much the same. I got the lightest one in every undertone. They all swatch basically exactly the same. Um, so I'd probably just go with the neutral one and call it a day. Um, but I need to actually give these a shot. All right, I have a little try me pile going on over here. The NARS Soft Matte. I recently bought this, so I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. I think I'm going to have to wait for it to be a summer color, though, because this is the lightest shade Oslo. And he is very excited to see us. Um, it's just a little bit dark when it dries. Like right now, it looks pretty much perfect, but it's going to oxidize a little bit. I think I just need to give it one more shot before I decide to let it go, or I might actually just put that in my kit, honestly. This Tarte BB tr Tinted Treatment Primer. I don't even know if they make this anymore. Um, I love this stuff. I'll probably buy it again. It's SPF 30. Um, it's tinted. It is matte. It's a nice, like, uh, whipped texture, actually. Almost lost the cap there. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I don't know how old it is and it's got sunscreen in it. It's probably not good anymore. This little guy, um, is this it? No, this isn't it, but there is another one like this. Um, this is the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator and I have to give this one a shot as well. We got it in an Ipsy bag, by we I mean my mother and I, because we share. Um, this feels more moisturizing than that other one. That other one's more modif mattifying. Um, but I probably will repurchase whatever the new version of this is. So that goes in my try me pile. Along with this one, this is the Pure Lease Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream SPF 40. This might be a little too glowy for me. Um, but it's got really nice coverage. So I want to give it a shot with a couple of different primers and powders and see how that's working out. Um, this is the reason that this lid is in here. Great. Elf Camo CC Cream. I feel like I did not give this enough of a shot. I feel like this is supposed to be perfect. This should be perfect for me. It's, you know, got the, the, the different skincare in it. It's got SPF 30. It's got, uh, the tint to it. It's like, I feel like this should be my perfect foundation. This is everything I'm looking for. And it, I just, I need to give it another shot. This guy, I bought uh, for nostalgia's sake, I think. It was like $3 on clearance at a Target up in New Jersey. Um, this is the lightest shade, ladies and gentlemen. I just, whew, I cannot, cannot deal with that. That is going bye-bye. You know what they should bring back from that line though? Those blushes. Those were really, really nice. The Maybelline Superstay in shade 102 Fair Porcelain. Love this stuff. Very similar to the L'Oreal Infallible. 
but am I going to keep both? Absolutely. Okay, this Catrice HD Lip Coverage Foundation. Um, I really love the finish of this, but the color is just a teensy bit too dark. And let's be honest, I am probably not going to get tan enough to wear it. So I think I am going to let it go. Oh, all right. That was hard. This is the Profusion Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Perfector. Hyaluronic acid, medium to full coverage, natural satin finish, SPF 15. Um, this was pretty basic for me. This is fair one. It's a little bit off the color. Um, if I were just a little bit tanner, it probably would be fine. Um, it's nothing to write home about, but it's also not horrible. Um, but because I'm not a huge fan of it, I'm going to pass it along. Okay, so I recently bought the Stay Naked foundation. This is in the shade 11NN because it was half off at Sephora, um, my Sephora Inside Kohl's. So I bought this when I went to get my birthday gift. And so because of that, I think it's probably finally time to let go of this guy. Can you see how gross he is? This was the shade 1.0. This was my perfect shade match for the longest time. I would compare literally everything to this foundation. Um, it no longer looks like my shade. Uh, I think it's just time for it to go, but this was wonderful as a foundation. Um, this is pretty good too, but OG, you know? Thank you for serving us. Go live your best life. All right. I got this from Tamu. It is a beauty uh, BB cream um, in ivory. And I am still testing this out. It did not break me out. I didn't get any rash or anything. So that's great. Um, I just have to decide if I like it as a product or not. This is the Australian Gold Tinted Face BB Cream for Fair Light Skin Tones. This is, surprise, surprise, a little bit dark for me, um, but I can make it work if I really rub it in. Um, it's good until June of next year, and it's SPF 50, so I'm going to keep that. And then this is new. Um, I think they just came out with this, the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation Transfer and Waterproof. I have not tested those claims yet. Um but I'm gonna keep this one. So I'm getting rid of five foundations and I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then five little samples. Six, six foundations I'm getting rid of because I forgot about the Vanish Stick. Okay, awesome. On to the next category. All right, let's move on to concealers and I'm sitting down. All right, first one, MAC Pro Longwear. This used to be my absolute favorite. Um, I have a vivid memory of bringing this to the theater, because I'm a theater kid, um, and another kid dropping it on the floor and shattering it because it's very thin glass. Um, so now I take care of these like they're literal vials of blood. Um, but I just recently bought this again and I still really like it. So I'm gonna keep it. Tarte Shape Tape. I am not really a fan. Um, this is 12N Fair Neutral. It's a good shade match, but I just... I just don't get the height, man. It's just, I don't know. I never feel like it looks quite right. And I can't even tell you what's wrong. It just doesn't look as good as other concealers. So I'm gonna let that one go. 
This one I probably should let go because it's pretty much almost gone. Um, this is the Revolution Conceal and Define. This is a nice, uh, I kind of switch back and forth between this one and this one, depending on the time of year. This one's more for spring and summer. This one's more for fall and winter. It's just a little bit creamier. Um, this is actually the second one of these that I've used up in like five years total, but still. Um, it is a really good skin tone match for me. So I am going to let it go because it's old and almost gone, but I might repurchase it. Same with the e.l.f. camo concealer. This guy is so used up. <laughs> um, it's time for me to get a new one. I am not going to throw this away because I need to know what color to buy. Um, because all of these colors are, are very strangely like named like I bought the one that said fair and it was way too light it was almost white um which is new for me this is light peach and it's perfect for my under eyes so I just need to remember to order a light peach and then once I order it I will throw this one away this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal um in vanilla this is an okay concealer um this is actually the concealer I keep in the concealer that I keep in my kit. Um, I just don't find myself using it because I have other ones that I like better. Um, it's very versatile. That's why I keep it in my kit and I have it in every single color. But on myself, I just I like I like my my camo concealer or my pro longwear. All right, this Too Faced Peach Concealer in meringue i was never a huge fan of this um it's just really thick and i thought i would like it for like blemishes and stuff but i don't honestly get a lot of blemishes on my face and when i do i like my camo concealer um smells lovely it smells like peaches but uh well sort of um it smells like the, an approximation of of peach lip balm maybe but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I'm not gonna use it it's getting kind of dry and I don't know I just it just didn't wow me all right covergirl inst not covergirl Maybelline instant age rewind in cool ivory and then the brightener shade I'm definitely keeping the brightener um, this cool ivory, I think is the one that's a little bit too light, unless I am really highlighting, um, which I'm not usually doing with this concealer. I'm usually just trying to cover up my dark circles in like a skin tone manner. So I'm going to let go of this one. I'm going to see if my mom wants it. Um, but I prefer the shade Fair. Fair is my favorite. And just like that, I have these two left. Um, I do have an Instant Age Rewind in Fair floating around somewhere. And then I have a mini NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in my makeup bag at work um, that I'm working my way through. That one's okay. I honestly would prefer the Maybelline one over that. Um, but I'm trying to use it up and it's a good color match. So, and I'm almost done with it. So, um, I guess I'm keeping four concealers, five if you count this one, but once again, this is only shade reference. So, yay, go me. All right. Here's another category we're going to have fun with, um, powders. So I'm an oily girl. I like powder. I like powder foundations. I like trying different powders and seeing which ones work best. For example, this one, the Peach Perfect. Are you noticing a theme? Um, I loved this, this collection, this whole thing. However, I can literally like taste this powder when it's fluffed in the air and it always kind of freaks me out. Um, it works really well, but I'm also not a huge fan of loose powders. Um, I find that they're super messy because I'm really clumsy and they get everywhere and I'm not even going to put this one in my kit because 
I know it's kind of old and I have translucent powders in my kit already that I like for literally everyone, not just oily skin girls. So I'm going to pass that one along. Once again, I'm going to see if my mom wants it because it's not bad. It's just I wouldn't use it on somebody else. Um, this is an hourglass ambient lighting powder in luminous light. Okay. This, I just don't get the hype about. Like it's, I can see the glitter in it. I can see the glitter in it. And this shape in particular is like pretty much exactly my skin tone, maybe half a shade dark. So it doesn't work as a highlight on me. Um, it would be like a pretty eyeshadow, I guess, but I am just going to pass this along to somebody else who will appreciate it more. All right, I'm making this easy on myself. I'm grabbing the ones that I know I don't want to keep. This is the Becca Hydra Mist um, Set and Refresh Powder. Becca no longer exists. Um, this has stopped doing the cooling thing. Um, I do love this packaging. I think this packaging is genius. Um, but this powder just isn't doing what it did when I first bought it. So it's going to go bye-bye. All right. Catrice Prime and Fine. This, you can tell, has been well-loved. Um, it will continue to be well-loved. I will use this throughout the summer along with my Rimmel Stay Matte, which is the best pressed powder if you are an oily gal. Um, it does not pick up a lot on the brush. This is literally just a setting or touch up powder. Like it is so, I, I don't want to say hard pressed cause that makes it sound bad, but it's pressed perfectly so that you only get exactly what you need on your brush. It's very nice and super cheap and I love it. So great. Those are the first ones we're keeping. Um, this actually shouldn't be in here. This should be in my kit. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me in Deep. So I'm going to put that over here. This is mine. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair. This is my favorite loose powder. If I want to use a loose powder, it's going to be this one. Keeping. Um, this should also be in my kit. This is the New York Makeup Academy um, translucent loose powder. Uh, this is where I went and got my education. Um, so I have a couple of products from them from when I did fashion week with them. Um, but this is one that I do really like. I mean, it's just a, it's, just, it's a basic HD powder. Like it's nothing super special, but it is nice. Um, and the packaging is really sturdy and, um, good for my kit. And it does have the little sifter that you can close. Although I clearly did not close it last time I used it. All right. This I'm going to pass to my mom. She loves this powder from e.l.f. with all four colors. Um, she has backups on backups, and I think she's almost out of her backups, so I'm just going to give this one to her, too. Okay, this is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. I have had this little jar for so long, um, and it's not even Kat Von D anymore. It's KVD Beauty. KVD Vegan Beauty, which... I prefer. Um, but I'm just, I'm just going to get rid of this. Like it is, it's time. It is time. All right. This is the Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation in the shade Snow. Um, and I think this is a good one for summer. Um, powder foundations I can use up pretty quickly. Um, this is the e.l.f. camo one in Fair 120N. Oh, that one's nicer, honestly. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of this Too Faced one. But I'm going to keep the e.l.f. All right. This is a powder that I got in, um... A Japanese grocery store up in New Jersey. Um, it is 
this one is one of those that's pressed hard in a bad way. Like it's just kind of hard to pick up product and the product that you do pick up doesn't really show up. Um, it's supposed to be like a luminous pressed powder, but it just doesn't work. The packaging is very cute. It's by Can Make. Packaging's adorable, but I just, I, I don't use this. I find it too fussy. Okay, two more on opposite ends of the spectrum. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Pressed Powder. I love setting my makeup with this in the summer and the spring. Just works really well. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Use that for years and years. And this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, I will use this under my eyes sometimes if I'm using like one of these or uh, setting my entire face with a pressed found or with a powder foundation. Um, so yeah, uh, after all of that, I am keeping one, two, three, four, five, six powders here. I have two in my purse, three in my purse, because I have the, the um, Maybelline Superstay, which I'm almost done with. I have the NYX uh, Stay Matte Not Flat which I'm almost done with. And then the powder foundation that I'm currently loving is the L'Oreal Infallible powder foundation. So I have all three of those in my makeup bag. Um, and I'm just kind of using the other two up. And I have that L'Oreal one for like the majority of my face, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these here. So in total, that is nine powders. I think that's fairly reasonable maybe not all right moving on to cream face products this is a fenty beauty match stick in amber i use this as a cream contour on myself i love it um these mega glow halo so anything with this little blue dot on it um is to let me know that these are um, products that are both for me and for my kit so I can keep them sanitary when I use them. Um, I just use them the way that I would use them on somebody else, which is put them on the palette um, and no direct contact with anything um, that could contain bacteria. So I have these two in golden, sorry, no, Gilded Glow and Halo Goodbye. And then I have this third one in Halo Graphic. Um, and I will usually use this one or this one on my face. The other one's too dark for me. Similarly, anything that has my name on it um, is something that is used for both me and for my kit. And that's why you can see this one is like just totally scraped off because I use a spatula and put it on a palette instead of using this directly on my face. This is a Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip Multi Stick in Peach Thrill. I have this one and then I have this uh, Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush. Um, this one is a little bit more emollient. Uh, this one is a little bit more cream to powder. It's not exactly cream to powder, but um, it's a little bit less creamy, less glowy. Um, so I can use this for a lot more. Um, this is kind of limited to like a natural glowy look for me because once again, oily girl. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush and I don't know what shade it's in because they didn't tell me. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't, I don't really use this, but I should, I should, I should get, I'm trying to get more into cream blush. So I'm going to keep this for a little while longer. And if I still don't use it, that's that. Uh, this is the Milani Cheek Kiss, mm -hmm. Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in Rose Romance. This one's a lot easier to keep sanitary. So this is also one that travels between my 
personal makeup and my kit makeup, depending on what I'm doing. And this one is more of a cream to powder um, formula. So it's gel cream infused, no, gel cream liquid blush infused with watermelon, pomegranate, and rose extracts. Fun. This is lovely. Uh, this is the only thing that I got from the ColourPop Lizzie McGuire collection, and it is a glitter, like face glitter. Um, it's basically just a glitter suspended in gel. And this gets used a lot in the month of June. Um, and it's called Sing to Me Paolo. This is a Janessa Myricks color fix. This is never going anywhere. I freaking love these. I need to get every color. Um, but I don't have the money for that right now. This is in the shade Latte. I actually really like this on the lips, but it can also be used on the cheeks, which is why it's in with my liquid blushes. Um, but this is another one that can easily go from my kit to my personal because I need to use a palette with it anyway. And then the last thing is this Lottie London Freckle Tint in light. I don't use this. I have never used this. I probably will never use this. Um, I've got freckles on my own. Why did I buy this? And it just doesn't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fan that this is, this is going in the garbage. Okay. So that wasn't much of a declutter. But at least I know that everything I have in my cream face products is something that I like. All right, this is a more fun one. This is powder face products. So, uh, first thing right on top, this is new. This is from Shein, She Glam. Uh, it is a blush and highlighter duo. It's very pretty, very peachy, nice for spring. Um, and I'm going to keep that since it's new. Milani Luminoso is a classic. I'm going to keep that. This uh, Milani Highlight in Strobe Light is absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Um, okay. You can pry this MAC Beauty Powder out of my cold, dead hands. This is Briar Rose. Um, it's still fine. There's nothing growing on it. In fact, I have barely used this. I bought it for the packaging and I, I almost never use this because it's very, it's actually very pigmented. Um, it's a very cool toned pink blush. Um, and that hasn't quite been the look that I've been going for, but now it is a trend, um, with that new Dior, like bright pink blush. So I think I'll pull this out again and maybe actually use it this year. Um, but I'm going to keep this because I, I just, I just adore it so much. It makes me happy. It, it sparks joy. We're keeping it. This is the butter bronzer. This is a few summers old, um, but it's still creamy and it's pretty much the only bronzer. Oh, it's broken. Um, pretty much the only bronzer that I have that I actually still use. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I, I don't know. The highlight's pretty, but the, 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 the sculpt is just, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't wow me. And for Charlotte Tilbury, it should. Rocket, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and part ways with this. It's been decided. Uh, this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in Bellini Brunch. This is very, very orangey. It looks even more orangey on camera, um, but it's very peachy. And honestly, I have ones that I like better. I'm going to let this go. Um, I think it's going to be the same story with this Burt's Bees blush in Shy Pink. This is, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use the Briar Rose one instead. Um, 
here's another Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush. This is That Peach, though. And this is more of a neutral. This reminds me more of like a, like a Mac Melba situation. Although, it's not even really showing up, even on my skin. That's concerning. We're going to let go of that one. Doing much better with blushes. Uh, this CoverGirl Cheekers in Sophisticated Sable. This is amazing. It goes with everything. I freaking love this. Um, if you watch Emily Noel 83, you know. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Probably one of my favorite highlighters of all time. It's just so natural looking on the skin. Like when you want just to put a little bit more life back into your face after using like a fully matte uh, foundation powder, all of that, but you don't want to look like you're wearing highlighter. This just is so naturally pretty. Keeping. This is the Tarte Blush in Party. It is from a Sephora gift a few years back, I think. This is honestly one of my favorite blushes. I'm gonna use this until it dies. Um, Lorac Light Source in Celestial. This is stunning. Do the Jeffree Star Palm highlight here. I love that. Totally keeping. However, this Urban Decay one in Sin, I've had this for way too long. It's very similar to the other one, but I don't like it quite as much. I can't even tell you why. Um, I'm going to let go of her. I've had her for too long and not used her. All right. This one is Becca Vanilla Quartz. This is a really pretty highlighter for me with my fair skin. Um, it's got a little bit of a... You can't really see it much, but it's got a little bit of a gold and pink shift to it. So it's pretty interesting, but it's still light enough. It doesn't look like I'm wearing like a blush topper. So I'm going to keep that one. This is the NARS Duo in Paloma. So if I were to use a um, like contouring duo, this would be the one. So yeah. I stand by my decision for Charlotte Tilbury. The only thing I don't like about NARS packaging is that it can sometimes get sticky. Um, this one's not there yet, but I can feel it's kind of starting to. Um, so I might have to powder it, but I'm still going to keep it. All right, this Bare Minerals blush in the one. This is a really nice, pretty pink. Um, but I think I am going to let it go just because it is very old. This Lottie London powder blush in Serene. This is like a peachy. It used to have like an ombre to it. Um, it's just a really nice peach blush. I'm going to keep her. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This came in like a trio. Um, I've thrown away the highlight and the mini bronzer. This is the Murumuru Baby Butter Blush in Natural Glow. And yeah, I think I'll keep her for one more summer. All right, this Ofra Trio. This is when I want to look like a glazed donut. Um, so let's see. That one, the, the this one is Space Baby. This one is Glazed Donut. And this one is Glow Goals. It's the Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. Absolutely love. And then finally, we have my Hourglass Six Pan Palette. Um, this has a bronzer here, which is very nice, but it's small, so I can... I only use it when I feel like I want to work to get my brush in there. Um, and then two blushes, and then three of the ambient lighting powders, powders on top. And this was from a couple years ago. They come out with one of these every year. And this was just one from a couple years ago. So that's it. Okay, great. Um, so I got rid of a few things. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're getting there slowly. After further consideration, I am just going to buy a new butter bronzer. Um, this one is, like I said, 
fairly old. Uh, the little latch thing is broken. It won't stay shut anymore. Um, and I'm pretty sure they are now making them without this like bulky bottom part. So I'm just going to throw this one away. I'll buy a new one at some point. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there for this particular video. Um, next one we're going to do is lips. Um, and maybe eyes if we have time. We'll see how long it takes. Um, but I wanted to show you that this is all that we're giving away. It's or throwing away. It's very hefty. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment down below and uh, tell me if there's anything here that's like your favorite product that I got rid of or um, anything that you wholeheartedly agree with me getting rid of. Um, I'd love to know your opinions down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye!